So I'm going to discuss inverse of a matrix using the Gauss-Jordan method. So the main goal of this method is to make matrix A into the identity matrix, and by doing changes to an identity matrix, it would result to an inverse. So this is our guide in solving inverse of a matrix using the Gauss-Jordan method. For those of you who don't know what an identity matrix, it is a matrix composed of 1s and zero. It has 1 on the diagonal and then 0 elsewhere. So to change matrix A into the identity matrix, we can only do this elementary operation. First, we swap rows. We only do this if it is necessary. Next, multiply or divide each element in a row by a constant and replace the row by adding or subtracting a multiple of another row to it. I know it sounds confusing, but this would make much more sense in the examples later on. And if you're going to do elementary row operation, you have to do it in the whole row. Example, since I'm going to make this one, I have to divide it by two. So I'm going to divide the whole row one by two. And that would give us one, three over two, one half, and then zero. Next. So we're going to find the inverse of A. So our first step, is we're going to put the matrix A on the left and the identity matrix on the right, like this. Next is we're going to do several row, um, elementary row operation. So in this case, I'm going to add row 1 and row 2. But you can start by dividing um, row 1 by 3 so that you can transform it, this into 1. But for me, I'm going to start with adding row 1 and row 2. So, um, this is our row 1, and this is our row 2. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, 2 plus negative 2 is equal to 0, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, and 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Now, we're going to replace the previous row 1 by this, and that should give us this. After that, we're going to get 1 in the first row, first column, by multiplying or dividing the first row. In order for this to be 1, I have to divide the whole row 1 by 5. And that would give us 1, 0, 0, 1 over 5, 1 over 5, and then 0. After we obtain 1 here, the next step is to make the rest of the first column into 0. So since row 3 is already 0, I only just have to make the row to 0. So this is our equation that we're going to follow. So this is our row 2 and this is our row 1 that has been uh, multiplied by 2. So we're going to subtract now. So 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Negative 2 minus 0 is equal to negative 2. 0 minus 2 over 5 would give us negative 2 over 5. 1 minus 2 over 5 would give, would give us 3 over 5, and then 0 minus 0 would give us 0. Now we're going to replace the row 2 by this. That should give us this. So this is our, this is our new row 2. So we're going to keep going on like this until the left turn into an identity matrix and the right would result to um, the inverse of matrix A. So since I don't have 1 over here, and our goal is to have 1 on the, di on the diagonal and then 0 elsewhere, I'm going to swap row 2 and row 3. And that would give us this. Now, I only have to um, neutralize this to make it 1. So in order for this negative 2 to be 1, I will have to multiply the whole row 3 by negative 1 half. So that would give us 1, 1 over 5, negative 3 over 10, and then 0. Next, since we have 1 over here, our next step is to make this into 0. So I'm going to follow this equation, R2 minus R3. This is our, our R2, and this is our row 3. So 0 minus 0 is equal to 0, 1 minus 0 is equal to 1, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0, 0 minus 1 over 5 would give us negative 1 over 5, 0 minus negative 3 over 10 would give us 3 over 10, and then 1 minus 0 would give us 1. Now we're going to replace row 2 by this. 
Now we have this. Now we have identity matrix on the left and this would be our inverse matrix. Therefore, that is our answer. Next problem. Find the inverse of A. So since we have 1 over here, our next step would be making this into 0. So we're going to follow this equation. R2 minus 2 times row 1. So this is our row 2. And this is our row 1 that has been multiplied by 2. So 2 minus 2 would give us 0. 5 minus 6 would give us negative 1. 0 minus 2 would give us negative 2. 1 minus 0 would give us 1. Now we're going to replace the row 2 by this. That should give us this. Next is we're going to make this into a positive 1. So in order to do that, we're going to divide the whole row 2 by negative 1. And that should give us 0, positive 1, positive 2, and then negative 1. Next, after that, um, we should make this into 0. So in order to do that, I'm going to do this. R1 minus 3 times row 2. So this is our row 1 and this is our row 2. So 1 minus 0 is equal to 1, 3 minus 3 is equal to 0, 1 minus 6 is equal to negative 5, and 0 minus negative 3 is equal to positive 3. Now, we would replace the previous row 1 by this. And then that would give us this. Now we have identity matrix on the left, therefore this is our inverse of a matrix. So that is our answer. That's all. Thank you for listening.